Hello and good morning everybody. So for today's video, the kids are playing in their rooms. Evan, Otto and Felix are in their room and the triplets are in theirs. The twins are down for a nap and I thought it would be a great opportunity to give you guys a little bit of a tour of our bookshelves. I've had quite a few requests from you guys. Sometimes you guys comment on my Instagram pictures. I know you can't comment on my YouTube videos. If you do want to give me a comment, guys, go to my Instagram, leave a comment in the comment section. I'm much more likely to see it in the comment section than in the DM. I don't often look through my DMs just because I don't really get much time to. But yes, I have gotten comments asking to give a little bit of a bookshelf tour and to um, show you guys our bookshelves for everyone who is interested in children's books. So I thought I'd show you guys some of our favorite books, give you a bit of like a realistic tour of the bookshelves and show you and explain to you guys which books we've actually gotten heaps of use out of, which books the kids have really enjoyed, which novels they've really loved. For any of you guys with kids or relatives or friends with kids, um, I don't know who who has put Cosmo and Sylvie in the rockers, but this really creeps me out sometimes. Sometimes I actually think there's babies in there. I know they're way smaller than our babies, but um, sometimes I just get freaked out for a second. All right, guys, so starting with our bookshelf, we obviously have the word books up here. Up on the top shelf, we just have a couple of books that are grown up books. And then as we come down here, these ones are also like, I guess they're not really grown up books there manga which is this one says older teen um o parts hunter and these are actually rose books and same with um attack on titan i'm not sure if you guys have heard of that but ro really likes the manga and the anime of that and so do i obviously the kids haven't read this one because it's a little bit um violent and graphic for them but when they're older they might want to we only have one one piece manga because i don't know we just have never sourced the rest of those but we all like the one piece anime so we will probably get some more of those at some point so over here we have harry potter we have the complete series of harry potter and the boys started reading these quite young evan was i'm not sure maybe four maybe five when he started reading these otto was probably five as well and Evan has completely finished them whereas Otto stopped around in one of these books I think so on these big shelves we keep these big books here because they would usually go over on this bookshelf but they're actually too wide to fit in those bookshelves so we just put them facing this way on this bookshelf for now and um, this one is actually amazing we've loved this book world of information it's got tons and tons of just really interesting information in it like nice little diagrams and stuff and i just love the way it's illustrated i think it's really cool kids have loved that from a pretty young age we've got this deep ocean book here we have this book planetarium um as well as this one for space ultimate book about space really love this one it's full of like interactive flaps and all sorts of things big book of blue is a great book little book about the ocean and that kind of thing so as we come over here we have some more this is the world of plants which is similar to the world of information but obviously it is all about plants so it just kind of looks like that on the inside big book of bees big book of bees absolutely amazing amazing a whole book just about bees so if you've got like a little bee lover heaps of information about bees in this one great book about dinosaurs um rufus loves this one he is absolutely obsessed with dinosaurs and then we've got this book about maps which is an awesome book i feel like i'm not going to get through all of these bookshelves looking at every single book i'm just going to try and show you guys our favorite ones and which ones we like the most when we come over here we've got more dinosaur this one's actually a really great dinosaur book as well and then we've got the cities construction site and airplanes of these ultimate books as well up here we have naruto and the kiddos got this for christmas evan's already completely finished it i don't think otto started it yet this is a really great series a great manga it says teen on it too but doesn't seem to worry the kids they really enjoy that some of the series that the kids read evan and otto are seven and eight and they probably read books that are a little bit above their level some parents might not want their seven and eight year olds to read books like that but evan and otto started reading at four and three so they've been reading for a really long time they started more advanced books at a younger age and they just devour books so so quickly and they love all sorts of books and they're just kind of mature enough i think to read books that maybe not be appropriate for other children of the same age like Felix probably won't be reading the same books Evan and Otto are at that age but that being said he does read a lot of the same books as well so down here we have Diary of a Wimpy Kid and Evan and Otto read these a really long time ago I think these ones are a really great starter um, series for kids that are kind of just starting to read um, over here we have Beast Quest the kids really enjoyed these when they read them I don't actually think they've read these Star Wars um, books just I, I don't think they've read them 
them. Um, they've read this spin-off of Diary of a Wimpy Kid. They really enjoyed that. They really loved this Amulet series, which is like a graphic novel series. So it's like not really a book. It's kind of like a comic series. Obviously still a book, but you know what I mean? Ah, uh, stories for five-year-olds. That's really great to more so read with your five-year-olds rather than them read themselves. Um, and then we've got this Just Crazy. I actually am not a huge personal fan of the content of this book, but the kids really enjoyed it. I'm not rushing out to buy a whole lot more of those, but yes. Then there's the Bad Guys books. Um, there's heaps of these in this series. I don't even think we have the whole series. The kids have only just started these recently. They really like it. What is Icky Food? Oh, that's a library book, which shouldn't actually be in our bookshelf at all. So I'm just gonna put this here and remember about it later. Down here, we have more manga. So we have Dragon Ball and we have Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball is the first of the series, like the first series, and then Dragon Ball Z follows Dragon Ball. There's heaps of books in this series. Evan and Otto have already read them. They really enjoy those and then down here we have some warrior cat books these were actually mine when i was younger selby books um which i love we bought these second hand actually because i really liked these when i was younger the kids really got into these they really enjoyed them selby's been around for ages you guys might recognize him then we have ando weirdo books and the kids absolutely love those felix has read these too so evan otto and felix who are eight seven and six have all read these books i'd say these books are a really great um beginner book for beginner readers what do we have over here uh paul jennings book Books, which I remember reading when I was younger. The kids absolutely love these Geronimo Stilton books. We wish we had more of these books. I'm pretty sure there is like hundreds of them, but um, the kids really like reading things in order and we can't manage to find the really early ones of these. Um, we have these Del Toro Quest books, which I also read when I was younger and we only have the first two. Evan has read these and he really wants the next one, so we're gonna try and source those when we can. These David Williams books are great and Evan and Otto have really enjoyed these. Then we just have some Pokemon books over here as well as all of these Pokemon books over here. These are the Pokemon Adventure series. This is like manga as well. So it's, you know, kind of like comic books, I suppose, but you know, it's Japanese manga um, in English though. And we've got a bunch of those. Felix has read all of those as well, as well as Evan and Otto. Auto. Up here we've got a few cool little books. So this one is about dinosaurs. Rufus really likes this one. He's really obsessed with dinosaurs. All, all the kids really like it though. A World of Discovery, which is just like a world of information and a world of plants, but it's a bit different. It's got different stuff, but it's just as cool. Um, Big Book of Birds, which is currently upside down, but it is still just as cool. Down here we have a series of unfortunate events. Evan has read this whole series. He really enjoyed it. Otto hasn't started it yet, but he plans to because he thinks it sounds really cool. Over here we have the Magic Faraway Tree. I'm not sure if the kids have read this. I think Evan has, but I think it was quite a long time ago. I'm not sure what this series is called, but the kids really enjoy it. There's quite a few books in the series. Over here, we have these um, Judy Bloom books, which um, were kind of a throwback from my childhood, so I thought the kids would really like them. They read them and they really enjoyed those. We've got more David Williams books over here. Uh, the Day My Bum Went Psycho, which obviously the kids thought was hilarious. Over here, we've got some Ella Diaries books, which Evan and Otto both really enjoy. I think Felix would enjoy them too. Um, they're probably around Felix's level, so around six-year-old level. He will probably like those when he's looking for something to read next. The kids have all really enjoyed these treehouse books. So there's a 13-story treehouse and so on. Um, those are really great books for kind of beginner readers as well. Um, we have them mysterious benedict society over here the kids have really liked this otto has read the first few of these and he thinks they're really great evan's gonna read those he's planning on reading them soon kids have read all of these um mr bambuckle remarkables books they really enjoyed them there was four in the series and they have really liked those these kenzie and max books um i think they look really cool but i don't think the kids have actually read these ones yet oh up here we've got more paul jennings books kids really like those roll Dahl. kids have read all of these they really enjoy these too and these ones are really good to read out loud actually so those are quite cool and there's narnia books i think only evan has read those at this point and um over here we have the dogman series kids have all read the dogman books um all evan otto and felix have read those anyway up here we have the hot dog books by ando all three of the kids have read these and they're a really good beginner book then there are these tom gates books um kids really enjoyed these they haven't read them for quite a while they aren't actually numbered so 
it's really confusing to know which one comes next. It's kind of made it difficult for us to buy the next one in the series. And then we have Captain Underpants, which were probably Evan and Otto's first um, novel series that they sort of read. They really enjoyed those. That was a couple of years ago now. And then in here, we've got Wings of Fire, which Evan is actually currently reading these right now. He's really enjoying those. These Ando Ninja Kid books, the kids really like those. Wolf Girl, How to Train Your Dragon. Um, Evan has read all of those as well. So that's kind of like a little tour of our like novels slash older kids, I guess, sort of book in our home library. And over here we have the littler kids books. So I definitely won't show you guys all of these. As you guys can see, we have organized these books by color. So there is no particular um, system when it comes to what order these books have been placed in. It's really just color. So, you know, like we've got Planet Earth and we've got a Pokemon book and then we have a, a story book and so on. These Osborne books, Lift the Flat books, they are like literally our absolute favorite. We have a whole bunch of them. As you'll see, they are kind of all scattered through our bookshelf. Pretty much every shelf probably has quite a few of these Osborne books. You can buy them at the Bendy Beanstalk. We absolutely love these books. They have just been such a great staple for the kids learning. As you can sort of see, there is just such an amazing amount of information in these books. The information is jam-packed on every single page and it is just displayed in such an interesting way. So yeah, these ones are a favorite of ours. This one is great, Fractions and Decimals, Big Book of ABC for younger kids. Absolutely love this one for younger kids or any age kids really. Cycling and Rubbish is a great title as well. We love these Oliver Jeffers books. These ones are storybooks. They're really great. This is a great book. Telling the time for kids that are just learning how to tell the time. Exploration and discovery. Look inside a hospital. These books are just so great for learning. There is literally books on pretty much everything. And the kids just come in here. They just read or whatever they want. They have read these books over and over and have soaked in so much information. Um, even though the big kids have their sort of novels and stuff to read, they still really enjoy looking at these books as well. Some great ones of these for older kids are these 100 Things to Know About Science and uh, Politics. The kids have enjoyed all of these, The Human Body, um, Business, and there's a whole bunch of this series that's really awesome. The kids have enjoyed those a lot. Um, Seeing Science, it's a really cool book. For littler kids, we have all those That's Not My books. I absolutely love this one, How Animals Build. It's all about animal homes, all about families, See Inside Man. Maths, a great maths resource. Nature, great for nature. And how do animals talk? Kids love their Bluey books because they really love Bluey. Questions and answers about growing up. This one's really interesting. Multiplying and dividing. What do grown ups do all day? Times tables, great for maths. Flying colors, this is a book all about flags. This is a dictionary. It has been a sticky tape back together because it has been used so much. Kids um, use this for their schoolwork. And math shapes. Over here we have Lift the Flap, Bugs and Butterflies opposites which is really great for littler kids um, my first coding book which the kids have really enjoyed we've got a color book which is really good for little ones just little books like this like guess how much i love you this one's a really cute one for little ones and down here we have all these feelings books when i'm feeling angry when i'm feeling sad all of that sort of thing these books have been really great for the kids teaching about their feelings and all of that um and another book in the series which isn't quite in the series but it has the same bunny um my calm me down book which has been really cool kids have really liked this plantopedia book which i don't even really know if it's a kid's book but they have really enjoyed looking through that they've got all these little mr men books that's mr tickle over here of course we have good night moon which is upside down currently questions and answers about plastic which is a really good one really like this word book it's really great for for, um, learning how to read like first recognizing words and stuff because it has the words and then it has the pictures that it matches to so that one's really cool Megan Mog book stick man one of the kids favorite story books lots of spot books uh, and down here we have these Guinness World Record books we only have three at this point and in here it's empty currently we usually put our library books in those um, little empty holes down there but currently our library books are in the car because we're going to return them soon but we like to leave a space for our library books so they don't get mixed up with our books and down here we have these block books which are so good we absolutely love these ones as you can see this one's been loved to absolute death and it's been sticky tape back together we'll probably get another one of these for Cosmo and Sylvie because it's been such an amazing book 
and the other books in that series are really great also. I feel like there was no possible way to show you every single book that we have on our bookshelves because there are just so many books, so many amazing books that we all love so much. Um, but I just thought I'd make this video because it has been requested and now it's there on my channel. So if anyone's interested, I can just refer them to this book, people that are asking for a bookshelf tour. These books being in color coded order might seem strange to some people because it might seem like it's difficult to find things. But over time, the kids sort of learn what the spine color of the books are and then they remember where it is on the bookshelf. They can easily find things because they remember the color of the spine. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this little video. If you are interested in children's books at all, and like I said at the beginning of the video, if you have any questions or any requests of any sorts of videos you'd like to see, um, just pop a comment on my Instagram. It is Chloe and Beans. So that is going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and we will see you again next time. Bye. Bye. Turn it off now.